That's the still Midday Live on TV3. Let's turn our attention to our biggest story that we have for you this afternoon. And information reaching TV3 has suggested that uh, the arrest of a headmaster of a private school in Aflao for registering and allowing pupils from Togo to sit for the basic school certificate examinations may just be the tip of the iceberg. Exclusive information made available to the news team indicates that this is a business that has uh, been running for a while. The Togolese pupils, the news team learns, are pupils of purposely, who are purposely set schools running the Ghanaian syllabus in Togo. The owners of these schools in Togo charge these pupils, then in con uh, connivance with the headmaster or the head teachers of the school, get the pupils enrolled for the BEC examination portal, where then they get to sit to write the exam. My colleague, Selma Menya, um, has more on this developing issue and has actually been following it keenly and would want to ask him and tease out some of the, the, the shocking details that we have been able to gather for you. Selma, good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, um, Martin. Break it down simply to the viewer. What are we hearing of? That some people who are technically non ghanaians pupils, are writing the BEC in Ghana because some teachers, head teachers, have what registered them onto our system. Yes, so so this is what it is that uh, parents, some parents in Togo and Nigeria and the rest, want their kids to enjoy that kind of training or education that we have here in Ghana. So private schools in Togo are actually in bed or are in kahoot with some private schools in Aflau, hmm. and what they are doing is to getting their students registered. They are actually teaching the curricula of Ghana, or GES. So at the end of the day, they end up bringing these children into uh, Aflao to write the BEC exams. And beyond the 62 that we know, and that Faith Mission and Kekeli, we have 28 of these schools in Togo who are affiliated to eight schools uh, in Aflao. And what is happening is that our statistics show that each school presents about 35 pupils to sit the BC annually. Every year? Every year. And the schools, this data I'm giving you is as of 2017. So it's possible that by now it would have the doubled. The numbers have increased. Yeah, or increased. So what it is is that the 35 by 28 plus, let's say 30, that gives us about 1,050 pupils annually. And these 1,050 people, at the end of the day, get smuggled into our system, mm. and then they sit for this BC. And some of the schools are affiliated to as much as four of these uh, schools okay. and it is big business for them and so the we know that this was triggered or this information is actually coming on us after the a headmaster was arrested yeah. do we know where exactly this arrest took part uh, happened and which school is this how many peoples do we have an idea how many he had registered well um, for what we know so far is that 62 togolese students were registered in that, that school in that school 62 That's, yes that's uh, the Kekeli International uh, Preparatory. And these people, peoples are said to be, or alleged to be from Faith International in Togo. Okay. And beyond this, we have other seven schools in Aplau who are in the same business. So it means as we speak, we know the BEC started yesterday yeah. and today is day two. So as we speak, these 62 are currently writing. They are Do currently we writing, but we, what we know is that the headmaster who was arrested is still in the custody of the police. Mm. But as to whether uh, the pupils have been stopped or they, they have been allowed to write, that we cannot confirm yet. Mm. And looking at how sh surprising this is, have we already heard anything from the Ghana Education Service? Have we had any hint of what they intend doing? Well, we, we worked the lines and spoke to a few people in authority. Uh, they claim not to have much information. So okay. what they're doing is scattering information and then uh, I'm sure by 360, we'll have a lot of information to put yes. out there. We have a lot of figures, a lot of data and, and that numbers. we'll be uh, putting out subsequently. And you're telling us that um, this probably must have started in 2017. Or before, 2017 before 2017, the investigations was triggered by the fact that the, the, the then candidate, that is uh, Nana Kufado, was uh, championing or trumpeting that he was going to have free SHS. So the investigators decided 
to look at what this might mean because we have scenarios like where our fuel was was being subsidized it was being uh, smuggled and yeah, all yeah. of that so they decided to do this investigation and uh, this story that broke yesterday actually triggered that uh, thing wow all right uh, we are grateful for your time and uh, thank you very much uh, salama Menya is a, a colleague here in the in the, in the uh, tv3 and um, he's helping us you know, break down that news we have heard regarding the, the, the arrest of a headmaster that has, you know, unleashed all sorts of information regarding some Togolese pupils who have been registered in Ghana to write the BEC with the sole aim of entering our secondary universities, uh, secondary, uh, you know, schools because of the free senior high school that um, uh, the country is currently running. Let's go on to the Skype now and speak to Peter Pate Anti, he's a director of uh, executive director of the Institute for Education Studies. Uh, Mr. Anti, good afternoon and thank you for your time. Uh, does this come to you as a surprise in any way? Good afternoon. Yes, uh, it's it's quite interesting that um, we 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 are we are having such an information. Um, it means that a lot of the people on the, on the in the background, I, I mean the uh, district education offices in the in that particular area are not doing their work very well. And for the fact that I, I, what we are getting now is even just from 2017, do you glean in any way that it probably must have been ongoing for some years now? Yeah, there might be that possibility. But then let's, let's look at this whole uh, incident in, 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 in respect of our Education Act. So of course, we know that education in Ghana is governed by the Act 778, which was passed in 2008. And, and it's clear in it that education is supposed to be provided by the Republic, Republic of Ghana for the people in Ghana. And then the private sector is also given the opportunity to provide education for to supplement what the, the government is doing. Now, how do we bring in the private sector? The, the Act makes it possible that anybody who wants to start a private education system should have uh, an author authorized permission from the Ministry of Education and, of course, the Ghana Education Service and the Accreditation Board. Now, if these schools that we are talking about are operating in Togo, it means that totally they do not even qualify to, operate, to, to sit in for our basic uh, ex examination because it means they are not covered by the laws of Ghana there's no way that we are able to, we will be able to monitor them. There's no way that we can vouch for the quality of education that they are giving to the kids out there. So they do not qualify at all. Now, mm. in talking about affiliating schools in Togo to Ghana, I, I, I think there is a system in place that, that looks at affiliation. Normally, affiliation has to do with our tertiary institution. So if, if there is a, a, a a school in Togo that is affiliated to a school in Ghana, then it means that the the the, the Ghana Education Service, National Accreditation Board, the Ministry of Education should be aware should, should be aware of this. If they are not aware, then it means that what they are doing is also an illegality because it's it's highly impossible for a private school in Ghana to say that they they have schools in Togo that is affiliated to to schools in Ghana. I think that is the only way that they are able to bring in their their walls to to write uh, the kids to write the exams. So. Yeah. The, 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 do we even have, I, I have always known, or the, the, the conversation has always been that affiliations has always been at the higher level, isn't it? From maybe a university uh, level, a tertiary level. So exactly. since that when is, did we have basic said. level um, it's, affiliation? It, it, it's unheard of. It's unheard of. It's unheard of. So I, 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 that's why I said that there, there's a level of neglect from the district education directly. That the reason why I'm saying is this is this. You see, every year we know the number of students that progresses, and this is possible because circuit supervisors visit these schools. So they should know the number of students that are in each of all of these schools. Now, mm -hmm. if you are going to register these kids and you see that there is an astronomical increase in the number of candidates that are, are registering for the BCE. It should trigger some kind of alert in anybody, in any official at the district level, and, and questions should start, should, we should start asking questions. Hmm. How come that, how come that your, your number of progression for GSS1, GSS2 is around 80 and you're, you're, you're registering 180 students? Right. That, that is a clear indication that there's something fishy going on there. Somewhere. So they neglected their work, and, and that is where we are, where we are now. I think that the authorities should step in and, and, and make sure and deal they with end this. this as early as possible because 
we, we cannot continue. You, you know already the free SHS is... is, is it's a, under its own stress, of, isn't it? Yes, and, okay. and, and you are bringing in foreigners to come and enjoy, and, and it, it, it's hmm. not appropriate. Right. Peter, we'd have to leave it here for now, but thank you very much, for, uh, as always, for making time to speak with us. Peter Pate Anti is the Executive thank Director you. for the Institute for Education Studies. Bottom line, something is going wrong somewhere. Would we'll, uh, dig deeper into this, speak to the authorities and uh, our correspondents in and around the country would uh, also give us an update on this. Stay with us, News 360 and our subsequent bulletins will bring you an update on this shocking and developing story. This